Hey everybody! Today I wanted to talk to you just a little about the general feastware that you would be using at Avagast. And one of the things that you see the most, and something that's absolutely necessary, is wooden bowls. Wooden bowls of all different sizes and wooden plates is definitely something you want to invest in. They're great and they help you for cooking, and you can eat out of them, and you can keep things in them. They just need wooden bowls. Um, you see more wooden plates and bowls than clay or metal ones. So something like this is something you should definitely look out for at the uh, thrift stores and the flea markets. I don't usually see things at renaissance fairs that I would use at Avagost, but some things that are absolutely perfect and you probably couldn't find something as good is, you know, your utensils for your feastware. This came from a Ren Faire. Things like this are exactly what you are looking for if you want to have like the best feastware for your character at Avagast. They don't look modern at all. If you're bringing in spoons and forks and knives, just try to not have a very modern looking one. Something very basic. It doesn't have to be one of these handmade spoons and knives, but it can't look terribly modern, you know, no no modern silverware, and definitely no plastic silverware. Another great find at Ren Fairs that's really cheap is drinking horns. This drinking horn was actually 15 bucks, and this was only 5 bucks. And this is a very great option instead of having to carry around cups and I mean it's completely in decorum it can be very good for a whole bunch of different settings actually so if, even if you didn't play Avagast you know drinking horns are awesome and it's helpful because if you're in need of hydration you have something to drink out of on your belt at all times and it looks great on your belt so I have a drinking horn uh, Almost everyone I know who plays an Outlander seems to have a drinking horn. If you're playing an Outlander, drinking horns are definitely what you need to have. <laughs> a really common mistake um, in our players is when it comes to bottles. Make sure that you remove all of your labels off of the bottles. And everyone does that their own way. Just whatever way you do it. Make sure it comes completely off or do like I do if I don't have time to remove the labels and I will either wrap it in something like cloth or you can wrap it in leather too. Um, I suggest making a reusable leather cover that you can slip on and off of your wine bottles because it looks great. It won't, you know, turn into like some crappy cloth over time and get dirty and you can reuse it. Another mistake is players bringing in bottles with twist caps. We ask that you do not bring anything with a twist cap and that you cork it instead. Corks are really easy to find at any of the craft stores and they're very cheap. And the final thing that a lot of players make mistakes on is bringing in modern glass. Sometimes they would bring in glass that has something actually on the glass that you can't take off, like a label or a, or a design or something. Try not to have those types of bottles. And if you can, look for blown glass, actual blown glass, not things made in a mold with the seams. And if you look for the blown glass in thrift stores and stuff, you can find that really awesome green blown glass. And that's what we suggest, is we we prefer and we, we ask that you bring, you know, the, the green or like the dark 
blue blown glass bottles with corks and not the twist off tops. Another important note about your feast wear at Avagast is your feast wear will probably reflect your character's wealth and where they are in the community. Um, if you bring in pottery and clay items, try not to have too much glazed pottery and very nice looking things unless you want to portray that your character is wealthy because if you remember you're in play all, at all times so the things that you have and you eat out of reflect your character and people really pay attention to that and so if you are playing a, uh, a surf like I do you are more likely to be eating out of a little wooden bowl and some um, and someone playing a lord might be eating off of a fine metal plate. So I hope that this gives you a few more helpful tips and ideas about Avagast feastware and some nice tips and I want to let people know the common mistakes and what to do instead. So I hope this is helpful and have a great day.